So today the car of the day is gonna be this beautiful 2020 BMW M340i. Uh, the huge question for me that's about why 3 Series BMW has a emblem as a M. 340i and the cluster shows Alpina. I have no idea how this set came out from the factory or maybe somebody else did that. But the fact I know right now that's 2020 used BMW and uh, got it from the auction basically. And it was some undisclosed damages, but it was too late to arbitrate it. So basically, uh, we face a lot of different problems with the engine and the car was repainted there is a lot of bando on the side but that's just reality of bmw uh, but honestly for me it was a huge surprise and a lot of questions about why 2020 such a nice beautiful car outside but it is in that not kind of good condition and uh, the answer coming right away because it's bmw it is a 3 series and it's m so basically nobody buying this car to go buy some bakery or do the grocery people who's buying this car especially in the blue color they're doing tinted windows all around 360 that's already telling you a lot so plus on the top of that we are getting bold tires and we, and it's not the same size on the front the, again nothing to wonder about it's just the reality of bmw so basically it is a nice car i mean it's nice to drive but for me and again in my opinion maybe i'm that old but maybe i just have a lot of experience and it's not the car i would buy it and keep it but for short period of time to enjoy it to like floor it it has almost 400 horsepower 382 i think so uh it is a cool you're getting a lot of emotions and uh the car just flies that's why it's flying so high that's why the car got a lot of bundle on the side that just like i said reality there is nothing to do with that so we do have a six cylinder turbo engine it's a twin turbo engine that's old engine it's been redesigned a little bit in take and the pcm reprogramming but nothing major and again bmw they cut the exhaust it has aftermarket exhaust on the back i have no idea what kind of brand in my opinion I mean, the sound from the exhaust looks like it just has straight pipes. I'm going to take a camera under the exhaust, under the bumper on the back and see what's going on there. It is a cool car. I mean, if you do have money to buy it. So basically this one, it goes about 35, 40,000 at the auction. So retail price is going to be about 42, 43, maybe a little bit cheaper. But the brand new car was about 57, 58. I think if you're going to check it out right now, it's going to be much more expensive because the cheapest two series start from 42,000. That's just crazy. I mean, all the cars going up and BMW going up also. There is nothing you can do about it. You want to buy something for performance. You want to buy something nice color, not like white or black. That's what you have to pay extra. On the top of that, you want to buy the car which has emblem M. You're going to pay a little bit more, 10, 15,000 more. But is it worth it to buy it? Is it like really something different? And um, like it used to be, it used to be M and it used to be 3 Series. Right now there is M, 340, Alpina, IMG. I have no idea how many more uh, stickers they're going to put on the car everywhere just to sell it to you so you can buy it. Let's do this. So as an old BMW nowadays, you honestly... Uh, you have no idea what's coming behind you or it's coming to you. So it's either 5 series, 7 series, 3 series, 4 series. They all kind of look the same. That's what I noticed when the Audi started doing it back in 2015, 14, 16, something like that. When they start doing all the cars, looks like the same. And the BMW, they kind of doing the same thing. Uh, that same, actually, same, same, same. That's actually the same thing what's going on with my BMW X1. That, that's a huge screen on the dashboard. It's exactly the same uh, as an iX electric car or the 7 series, 5 series, doesn't matter. So they all kind of identical. There is nothing, there is no point. Like, you know, that's, that's something unique. Like, the, it used to be, like I say, M. When it used to be M, so the body was a different shape. And a lot of different things but right now they just put an m everywhere and uh, it's not the point about three series i know it's a three series m package whatever it's not the real m but 
The point is, the car, 3 Series, 5 Series, 4 Series, from the back, from the front, all the grills, they all kind of look similar. And uh, I think it's messing up, not with people who's buying 3 Series, it's messing up with people who's buying 5 Series or paying more for the car, but at the end, they get in the same look as a 3 Series or 2 Series. We do have a lot of options on this car, like 360 camera, there is a camera on the front, and... Uh, it's all kind of used condition, you know, it's not perfect uh, example of this 2020 uh, model year 3 series. But what we have a different, that's the bumpers, that's the uh, mirrors are different, the rims are a little bit different, and the color. Color, it's beautiful. I think it's reminding me of uh, my Subaru STI. That's why I like blue a lot. So let's take a look on the exhaust, if it's really something they modified or not no looks like it's all original so the sound it does it's just the way they design it so there is nothing i would say aftermarket from my opinion what i can see here but it looks cool i mean the bumper itself those spoilers they just such a cool M, M package BMW. What are we getting inside the car? Inside the car, we are getting nice black interior. We're getting power seats on the front with different adjustments. Same as like BMW 1990, 1996, <laughs> I would say. 3 Series used to do the same. We do have a moonroof. It's just a big moonroof. It's not panoramic. And basically that's it, all the buttons, the shifters, the quality, the quality of the plastic, I mean, if you're going to check it on the side, it is super poor, super cheap. So the dashboard itself, it's kind of soft, all these plastics are dumb. Here, the door panels actually, you can take it out easily, you might going to break it, but who cares? So on the back, we have a bench, we have no space on the back for the passengers but we do have a USB-C and the climate control that's nice option all those it just super super cheap edition I have no idea why they still using it they just don't care what about right here we might gonna get cup holders that's what we're getting couple cup holders that's it so again 4 series, 3 series, they're not designed to be sitting on the back. It's only for the two passenger on the front. And I would say it's not that comfortable car because when you're driving this car in a city, you're supposed to get a lot of performance. You are getting it, but suspension, it's turned that way. The car is super sporty, but it's not comfortable. So basically this car is super cool for the freeway. To go to vegas or take it to willow springs and just drive shit from this car as much as you can and spend a lot of money for the gas so i'll do the quick review with you uh, about the cool things on this car let's do five things i like it and five things i don't like about especially this bmw so number one i would say I like the horsepower, I like the power of this engine, what gives a super nice torque to the rear wheels, right? That's number one. So between the old BMW and old Mercedes, I would go with old Mercedes for sure. About the new Mercedes or BMW, I don't know why they go in this way, but even the Mercedes, they do in the same way. C45, CLA45, GLA45, but it has 2.0 four-cylinder turbo engine and just with over-boosted turbo. So we got 65,000 miles on this car. So guys, I'm driving this beautiful BMW. I mean, beautiful outside, but such a <laughs> ugly inside. Again, that's that's only maybe my opinion. Maybe someone else thinking the same way. But the history of BMW, and especially performance one, like the high performance package and the 3 Series, and you know, all that kind of stuff. Those cars are legends right now. Even they all falling apart because they kind of old. And all those parts, they already worn out, but it's still kind of legend. You're not buying 
those old cars for the quality you buying that car for the reason because they are getting older they are getting legendary so if you're gonna compare the old bmw and new one for me the new one they kind of junky they all kind of kind of fake fake quality and fake performance maybe you do have a different opinion but that's what's uh coming from my mind when i'm talking about m performance or m package or img package it's all kind of not the same you know before it used to be v8 engine even m3 back in 2011 they used to do uh v8 engine and after that it just become the history so what's next they're gonna do four cylinder two cylinder electric car electric m uh electric mg i have no idea but the future for those cars are knowing that's why that's why the old bmw old mercedes they're all going high in the prices and it's almost impossible to buy some m3 real m3 for like twenty thousand back in 2011 2010 2009 maybe uh, m3 the main point about all all bmw m performance they are becoming so popular and so on demand so the prices for those cars just skyrocketing and in my opinion this bmw m340 is just gonna go down on the price because it's not the same quality it's not the same feeling about the car about the soul of the car be just because it is what it is so if we are talking about the design inside this car that is exactly the same as the three series like i say three four five all of them and first time i see the climate control like that it was a 2016 bmw 740 i bought it for my friend and uh 2020 we still doing the same and right now we do have a big screen on all bmw it's going to be everywhere so they basically losing that kind of uniqueness i would say on the bmw m they supposed to do something different not only the steering wheel and the emblems m everywhere they supposed to do something i don't know climate control the cluster like here is alpina i have again no idea how come the m340 came with alpina cluster and it's doing all that kind of stuff as an alpina maybe some kind of weird different front seats or even the shifter the transmission shifter they would do something different uh between this car as a m and the regular three series but not but they're not doing that kind of stuff uh that's a serious question why not so as i say i'm uh i'm not that kind of small guy so basically the space for me on the front seat it just kind of not enough i'm pushing all the panels we do have a handles same as the old bmw there is nothing nothing super cool about it all the switches they are the same that one just seven series old one ambient lights you can adjust it you can change it different color but on the back it's uh did it in super cheap bmw with super cheap bench that's just the way it goes oh you know why we do have a lot of napkins right here you're right that's to open something and add coolant at oil and as old bmw we have a cool stuff been put it there by someone who owned this car before there's an old bmw and then owners what are you supposed to have you supposed to have one or two quarter of oil in your trunk castrol high mileage <laughs> recommended by bmw that's kind of normal if you do have a bmw and you don't have a and you don't have an oil inside your trunk you just not the real bmw owner that's all i can tell so i hope you're gonna hear the sound of the exhaust i'm just gonna drive it a little bit around we do have a paddle shifting on the steering wheel. I 
Honestly, now I got an idea why did you in such a cool, nice cluster for this car? Because you're supposed to be impressed as a driver in this BMW. And look how many things going up and down. And you do have a map. You can change it for something else, some other kind of design. So we're all in technology, but at the same time, we're all kind of on a PlayStation mode. That's what this car is about. It's not about the sound or some quality. It's all about PlayStation. It's all about iPod, the way you're supposed to touch it, the way you're supposed to feel it. That's it. It is a, it is a new generation car. You have to take it or leave it. So I would leave it. I wouldn't take it just because... That's not the car I think supposed to be survived and the people supposed to uh, think about this car as the legend. It's just a BMW 3 Series with M package. That's all you have to know about it. So guys, I'm driving this beautiful BMW. I mean, beautiful outside, but such a <laughs> ugly inside. Again, that's, that's only maybe my opinion, maybe someone else thinking the same way. But the history of BMW and especially performance one, like the high performance package and the three series and you know, all that kind of stuff. Those cars are legends right now. Even they all fallen apart because they kind of old and all those parts, they already worn out, but it's still kind of legend. You're not buying those old cars for the quality. You buying that car for the reason, because they are getting older. They are getting legendary. So guys, thank you so much for watching this video and uh, please put some thumbs up please put some of your comments below if you do have a bmw you like it a lot or you don't like it if you are agree with me or not it's just a bmw it's that kind of car everybody wanted but again uh, i don't like bmw personally i do like the old one